We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Bacon and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball on the show. Next. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Avilan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. 1 0 pitch on the way. And it's 1 and 2. Pitch on the way. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. And the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Ready now. Lefty Lopez. As we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Here's the first pitch to him. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, Dero, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. And that's the second out. That is hurt. The public theater, Jack Beer. Coming to the plate now, Seth Beer. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. He's set. Here it comes. Popped him up. Molina is in his tracks now. And that will retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Danny Mack will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Ready now for the Marlins, Richie Ashburn. And he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. Now here's the pitch. One ball, no Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants there's a lot of different ways you can go about it this team's focused and playing really good baseball I would not worry about it keep pushing the throttle looking for the strikeout here's the one two and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there guys when it's tight like this one was it looks like a fastball off the plate then darts back at the corner at the last second Locked them up completely with that one. So now to the plate, Barry Larkin. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. The average sitting at 292 here to start playing with 19 homers and 67 runs batted in. 0-2 to Larkin. This pitch is popped up, and he'll put this away for the second out. Batting third, 
the first baseman, Jeff Bagwell. Stepping into the box, Jeff Bagwell. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. And that's in there for a strike. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Two out, nobody on. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We are still scoreless. So here's the cleanup hitter, Moose Lang. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch coming, here it is. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. He set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Looped down towards short. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. That is good. The catcher. Big daddy. Into the box, Big Daddy Rico. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swinging a soft liner. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Well executed two-seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Into the box now. Champ Camp has been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past ten contests. Here comes the first pitch. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Like that pitch there. Lefty on lefty matchup. Curveball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. The 0 1 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Markakis is camped under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Settling in now, Yadier Molina, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play.
Here's the Hall of Famer Wade Box. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Beer is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting kick. No Digging in, Michael, Michael Brantley. Brantley. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, up. Oh, and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0 oh and two. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Miami down in order will move to the third with no score. Striding in, Crash Davis. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing and one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Now here's the pitch. Two and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind early 1 and 2. Didn't panic or start chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. At the plate, Hack Duncan. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Nope. Outside with the breaking pitch and he falls behind a 2-0. and oh. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first out. Batting up. The shortstop. Bucky. Doug Barrett. Now at the plate, Bucky Tavares hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. the stretch here's the pitch 
hit back up the middle. Well, Mayhew's got it to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So digging in now, Nick Markakis, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Owen won the count. On the ground to third. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMay here. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. First pitch of the at-bat. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Running hard. He's digging for second. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on the fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Into the box now, Marcus Semyon. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Man, that's got to be a base running mistake right there. But taking a look at it, I guess, in his defense, he had to wait to see if the ball was going to be caught. By the time he saw it get down, the ball was already on its way back to the infield. At the plate now, Richie Ashburn. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Counts even a ball and a strike to Ashburn. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Fouled off. Here's the 1 and 2. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Really good team at bat right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does this, that, gets the ground ball, and brings home the first run of the game from third. Riding in once again, Barry Larkin. He popped out in his first trip. From the belt, the pitch. And he pops it up, back behind second base. Tavares will put this one away, and the side is retired. Marlins forced to settle for one. Three innings complete. The Marlins lead this one, one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, J.J. Fink comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. The 0 and 1 delivery. Outside for a ball, one and one. Pitch on the way. No, that's it. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2-2. A two -two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here.
looking to punch him out again. Pitch. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Now with the plate, lefty Lopez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Fink on at first, nobody out. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect for the down fastball. Back. You have to look for the soft stuff down yeah. and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. At the plate, Seth Beer. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. The left field of the two. Move. the box Moose Lang as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory he's 0 for 1 thus far it looked like the fastball got away from him there Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And rarely do you see a player of this caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. To the plate now, Big Daddy Rico as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runnel score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Boy, talking about picking a teammate up after that strikeout, d -row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hour RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Standing in now, Champ Camp. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready with the 1 0. On a grade school swing there, it's 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. You can kiss it goodbye. So a three-run shot to left center. Home run number nine on the year as they take the lead four to one. 
That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before, he looked absolutely foolish. But he gathered himself, stayed with the plan, and the next pitch, he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Stepping in, Crash, Davis, and the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he started to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. He's set, and the pitch. Line drive to center field. Ashburn is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. California leads this one four to one. Stepping up now, Jeff Bagwell. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. Now the pitch. Ball inside. So two balls and two strikes now. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. The captain. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, now. Coming to the plate now, Yadier Molina. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. lot of movement that time it's 0 and 2 as a hitter you see a pitcher working east west this is where you got to tell yourself to stay tall you can't cover both sides of the plate you got to pick one and trust it there's a swing and a high pop-up camp is calling for it he's got it and there are two down now Now that the third baseman, way gone. So two are gone now in the Miami fourth, and that'll bring up one of the members of the 3,000 hit club Hall of Famer, Wade Boggs. First delivery to him on the way. Ball outside. Rounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played four full. The Bacon lead this one four to one. Wait, Phil Necro, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 35. Now at the plate, Pat Duncan. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Leading off for California, the third baseman, Pat Duncan. 
Care. First pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 0. Needed a strike with the knuckleball, and he got it. Two and one. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. The 2 2. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Another 2 2. And a knuckleball ties him in knots there, and that's the first out. Here's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Little chopper back to the mound. And there are two away now. Now back. Digging in once again. JJ Fink. First pitch on its way. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Last half. Of Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's Michael Brantley. Winning up for the Marlins, the left fielder. Michael. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. Fielded cleanly and quickly. There's one down to lead off the frame. The right fielder, number 21. Stepping in, Nick Markakis. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Markakis. A six foot one inch left handed swinger and thrower He's a 15 year major league vet so it's been quite the career for him. Yeah and that's the name of the game with this guy you don't hang around 13 years. I always say this you show me a good teammate I'll show you a guy who opens the door every day and you know exactly what you're getting the consistency this guy has had can't go unnoticed and he's had an amazing career. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. 
Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. He's right there. And there's out number two. The second baseman. DJ. Trying to pick things up where he left off. DJ LeMayhew. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail it four to one. Ready once again, lefty Lopez. The right field. Lefty Lopez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, the center fielder, Seth Beer. Digging in and looking for more, Seth Beer. One for two on his line so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The left field of the field. Moose. Lang. Now batting, Moose Lang. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Hard hit at third. Boggs gloves it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Now is the designated hitter, Marcus Semyon. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. Ball one. Oh. One and one. And this one's off the fists as he fights this one off, but foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So now to the plate, Richie Ashburn. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 home. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And safe at first on the bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Hold on here though. That was really a close play, so they're checking to see if they want to challenge that safe call. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. And 
it looks like a no from the bench so the call will stand as safe. Into the box now. Barry Larkin. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Number five. Yes. Stepping in now, Jeff Bagwell. And it's the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. That evens it up, one and one. From the stretch. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Now he'll fake a throw to second and look to first instead. Throw gets him, two down. Here comes the first pitch. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Behind 0-2 now. Now the 0-2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Marlon Strand a pair. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Into the box now, Big Daddy Rico. He's one for two in the ball game. The catcher, Big Daddy Rico. Now here's the pitch. Line towards center field. Ashburn has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Champ Camp will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. Now the pitch. No balls in one strike. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Ready with the 0-2. Oh, you won't see a guy fooled any more than he was there as on three pitches he becomes out number two. Now that. Digging in the switch hitter, Crash Davis, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven-hit stretch. Stepping into the box, Wade Box. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Wade. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Counts even two and two to Boggs. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And that's the first down. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and one. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Just hung in there on that one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. One, two pitches a bit high and he's back to even at two and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. This is on the ground over to first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone no gets him to hit it on the ground, more. but obviously the result yeah. wasn't what he wanted. Take it. Blake now, Nick Markakis, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. 0 oh, for two for him to this point. One ball, one strike to count. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. Doesn't get the zone count full now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. Payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now back, second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Ball two. That's it. That's the ball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Marcus Semyon would be next. A runner on first with two away.
the 3 and 0 pitch. And that's low ball four. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Digging in to try it again, Marcus Semyon. He went down on strikes last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Oh. A ball and a strike. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side and the count will move to one and two now. Has a look now the pitch and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. Marlon Strand a pair they trail it four to one. Leading off the inning, Hack Duncan as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. up and the 0 1 hot shot down the line and a diving try at third but it's past him a fair ball hey that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there selling out to try and save extra bases for the pitcher but it got through Bucky Tavares. No, ball one. No hits to this point. Wow. Right side. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready with the 0-1. Ah, and he's fit to be tied after that one. It's 0-2. High in the air out to center field. Ashburn is there, and he has it for the first out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Digging in, lefty Lopez. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. He's running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Now to the plate, Seth Beer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He 
is ready. Here's the first offering. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Leading off the inning, Richie Ashburn. And they'll need him to get something going here. The center fielder, Richie Ashburn. Spud Superbone will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One and out. one. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Lays That's off the, the slider that time. Two and one. Two and one. Now a curveball here. Three nowhere ball. close. No That's strike. in the dirt. It's three and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The three and one pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Ready for another shot now. Barry Larkin is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A bouncer to the left side. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the shoe around. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. At the plate, Jeff Bagwell. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at. In the dirt here, throw goes over to third. He's in time as he gets the tag down, and he's out trying to take third. It's way the 0-2 pitch. That's low, that's a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0-2. And, and if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. A bouncer to the left side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. We've played eight full. The Bacon lead it four to one. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Moose Lang. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far. And what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Brentley is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Stepping up to the plate, Big Daddy Rico. 
first delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. And this is hit hard to the right side. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. No, Madness. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. The one-two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ashburn is there, two gone. The first baseman, number 10. Yeah. So striding in, Champ Camp. First offering on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hard liner towards short, but this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami. Yeah. Sparky Nicholas comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now pitching. Sparky Nicholas. First pitch on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Grounder down the line at third. The one two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starters final line. He was on point from the get go this evening. Matty V really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Standing in now Wade Box. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Nicholas has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and allows five runs per nine innings of work. And a 2 0 -oh fastball runs away 3 and 0 oh now. Michael Brantley waits on deck. In tight as this pitch misses and it's a four pitch walk. It was obvious when the count ran the 2 0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. So a runner at first now with one away and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. From the stretch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Beer is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The back, the right field. Nick Standing in, Nick Markakis, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. That's in ball. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll make the catch to end it as the Bacon have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here 
as this ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. California with their 80th win to pace the division. Danny Mack earns his 12th victory in the ball game. Luis Avilan was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Sparky Nicholas records the save, his 26th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.